Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth lesson of our color grading tutorial series in Filmora 14. Today I'm going to show you how to easily change the color of anything in your videos. Whether it's an object, clothing or even a background, you will learn after this tutorial. In Filmora 14, there are several tools to help us achieve this effect, like HSL, Smart Cutout, AI Color Palette and of course keyframe and masking adjustments. By the way, did you notice my t-shirt color changed while I was talking? Let me show you how I did it. This effect can be achieved in two ways. Let's start with the first one. Open up Filmora and drag your video onto the timeline. Click on your video and click on the color tab on the right. Choose the HSL option from the menu. HSL stands for Hue, Saturation and Luminance. It allows you to isolate a specific color range and work on it. Then select the color you want to change. Adjust the position of your video on your timeline. Then click the Add Keyframe button next to the Hue slider. You will also see the keyframe over your video. Then fast forward the video a bit and simply slide the Hue slider. The second keyframe will appear by itself. In this way, we have ensured that the color we have selected in our image changes over time. While this method works quickly, it's not always accurate because with this method you are affecting the entire color you have selected in your image. So you may also change the color of the places you don't want. Masking the part you want to change color is always an option, but you will get better results with the second method that I'm going to show you. Click on the effects tab and select the new blue effects category. Then click on filters. Find and drag and drop the selective hue effect onto a new layer on top of your image. Stretch the effect a bit. You will not see any changes when you first drop the effect. We are going to make some adjustments from the menu on the right. Click on the eyedropper tool and select the color you want to change. Now we can change the hue value. As you can see, we get a more accurate result with this effect. Now go to the desired moment in your video, click on the effect and in the hue control, click on the add keyframe button. Go forward a little bit in the timeline and lastly change the hue value again. As a result, we have changed the color in the same way as before, but with a much better result. Okay, next I want to show you how to use the Smart Cutout tool to change the colors of specific areas in your footage. For example, let's say we want to change the color of the car in this shot. First press Ctrl D to duplicate the clip. Place the duplicate clip directly above the original in the timeline. Select the top layer, then go to the AI Tools menu from the panel on the right. Then enable the Smart Cutout feature. In the pop-up window, simply draw over the car to create a selection. If the selection is hard to see, you can change the overlay color from the top right corner of the window. Once the selection is done, increase the edge feather slightly for smoother results. Then switch to Advanced Mode and track the selection across the footage. After tracking is done, click Save and close this window. At first glance, it might seem like nothing has changed. However, if you hide the bottom layer, you will notice that the car has been successfully isolated. Now go to the color page and using the HSL tool, you can easily change the color of the car. Any adjustments you make here will now affect only the car. Without this process, the changes would have impacted the entire clip. Lastly, let's see how to unify the hue and tones of colors between different clips or scenes using the AI color palette. First, arrange your clips in the desired order, especially those with varying color tones. Select the clip on the timeline that you want to adjust and then go to color tab. After that, locate and enable the AI color palette feature. Now select a reference frame from your timeline and then click generate. Filmora will analyze the reference clip's color tones. After that, it will apply the reference clip's color palette to the target clip. You can look at the preview window to check how the colors are matched. If the result isn't quite right, you can fine-tune the intensity, brightness or saturation using the adjustment tools on the right panel. Alright guys, now you have learned how you can make color changes with different tools of Filmora. I strongly recommend you to try these tools with your own videos. Thank you for watching and take care.